Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, this week has been a week where I've talked about love, and I hope you've got someone in your life that you love. Uh, I hope you've got a lot of people, but I hope there are people in your life that, that really give love special meaning to you. And if you do, I wonder if you've ever gone through something where you have failed in your ability to love someone the way you'd like to. Uh, you know, I've, I've got family that are near and dear to me. I've got a wonderful wife. I've got five incredible kids. I've got uh, uh, their spouses. I've got grandkids. Uh, I can go back in my history. My mom is still alive, but my dad and my sisters and my brother-in-law, there's a host of people that I care dearly about. And in my love for them, I have at times failed to, to love them the way I should. And, and by that, I don't mean I failed in the way I feel about them. Love, as we've talked about this week, isn't a a feeling, at least the kind of love we're talking about. But I have failed in the, the, the way that I care for them or express that love or, or conduct myself toward them. I think we all have. And that's why I thought I'd end this week with a passage out of the book of Revelation. Side note, I'm teaching Revelation in, in church on Sundays. The second week is coming up this Sunday. So uh, if you want to show up, and it's also available on the internet. Um, but anyway, there is a letter in, in Revelation, I think it's chapter 2, that's to the church at Ephesus. And in that letter, Jesus is speaking. He's dictating the letter to John, the revelator, who's writing it. Jesus says, I have this against you. You have fallen from your first love. Um, and, and, and that is a, a failure within that love relationship. Doesn't go into detail what it is or who it is, but you get the sense from the letter that it's, it's that zeal and passion for God that they have fallen from. But the interesting thing about it is Jesus doesn't say because you have failed in the way you love, um, you're a loser, you know, put your L up. Doesn't say, I'm through with you. Doesn't say, I'm walking away. Jesus says, repent. Turn around. You know, when we fail to live in the way we should, when tempers flare, when uh, anger might set in, when our behavior's not what it ought to be. The right thing to do with the people we love is exactly what Jesus said. It's repent, apologize. Not, not just in word, but in deed. Genuinely repent and, and change and turn away. You know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all love imperfectly. Even as we're called to love, even as love's a reflection of God, even as God grows his love within us, none of us do it perfectly. And that's why we can take it to heart that God knows that. And he teaches us what to do with our failures. Repent. Change the way we think. Be sorrowful for what we've done. Try to make it right and live that life of love we're called to. Think about it. It's your video thought for the day.